We got master class with Al here, so. So we're going to go through what is accurately called Al's merry-go-round analogy. Um, this part. If you're one of those weird people that doesn't know what a merry-go-round is, it's that thing with the rod in the middle and you sit on it and spin it till you puke. So imagine this compressor wheel here. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should start at like absolute square one. Yep. This is the hold compressor yeah, side of a that. turbo. Compressor wheel sits in here. So the exhaust drives the turbine shaft, which spins this compressor wheel. The smaller diameter at the front here is the inducer of the compressor wheel. The big diameter at the back is the exducer. And what you have is the inducer for the most part, will limit the amount of power that the turbo is capable, or that compressor is capable of making. It limits the, the mass of air that it's able to consume. When you go to the back side, this is more of how efficiently it can compress that air, regardless of how much there is. So you'll hear people talk about compressor trim, and that's just a measurement of the ratio of the inlet diameter versus the outside. So a high trim wheel, these two are kind of closer together. In a low trim wheel, you would have a bigger backside in comparison to the front. Now, why would you want those two different options? Well, a high trim compressor wheel that has a smaller backside is going to spool faster for the given inducer that it has because there's less mass in the wheel. So let's say you have a 50 pounds a minute. On most cars, it's going to make about 500 horse. You could have an exducer this size, you could have an exducer that's six inches around. And if you want to explain and understand how that would make a difference in how the turbo performs, that's where we get to the merry-go-round analogy. So if you look at this from a sky view and imagine that this is your merry-go-round, which we will very accurately draw up here. So we got, there, there's our merry-go-round. And then let's say up above this merry-go-round, there's a tube that we can drop kids through. <laughs> El should be an artist. Yeah. It, <laughs> you, you, I didn't stutter. That you can drop kids through. But you shouldn't. You, sh- you should not do you should that. should never drop kids. Never drop kids through. But if you did, that's where they'd go. Now, outside here, we have all the parents waiting to catch their <laughs> flinging minions. Because they're going to fall off. And someone's got to be there to catch them. And the, uh, the parents catching the kids are the scroll of this compressor cover right here. So at a given velocity, or well, let's rewind here. The size of this pipe here that you can shove the kids through <laughs> is going to dictate how many kids you can shove through, right? So that's, that's your power. So if it's a big one, you can throw 50 kids in at once. If it's real tiny, you can only throw 10 in. So let's say we're throwing throwing 50 kids in here at a time. And then you got the parents out here. You're laughing, but trust me, this analogy makes perfect sense. And for a given RPM, uh, you know, the size of the outside here is the size of the the backside of your compressor wheel. There's going to be a certain velocity of the kids uh, that are yeeting off the ends into their parents' arms and sometimes taking them with them. So that's, if, if you imagine that the, the merry-go-round gets bigger, but the RPM stays the same, these little kids are going to hit their parents a lot harder <laughs> when they come flying off there. Like if, if you got little Johnny hanging onto the inside here and he lets go, he's not moving that fast. That's like five pounds of boost. <laughs> and, then, and then you got some kid that's got his hand on the edge here and his feet hanging out the side and he lets go and sends his dad in the next week. That's uh, like 35 pounds out of a single stage compressor. Uh, oh, By the way, we, we have a uh, hashtag, hashtag Al drops kids. Oh, no. I'm not saying I do drop kids, but if you did drop kids into a merry-go-round, it would teach you how a turbo works. <laughs>